Hey, 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 Aries. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your February general in love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on for you this month. We're going to start with your overall energy. I'm going to pull... Uh, seven cards here and then we're going to clarify first card is your overall energy so what's going on for that Aries what's going on for Aries in February the overall energy the two of Pentacles your challenge for this month the three of wands what's going on with love for Aries the five of swords what about money? What's going on for money for Aries? The Ace of Cups. And what do you think about what's coming at you in love? Justice. The outcome overall is the Princess of Wands. And your advice is the universe. All right, so Aries, let's start off with your overall energy, which is the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you're trying to find that overall balance. I feel like you may be juggling a lot as far as work goes, love goes. It could be many things. It could be all areas of your life, right? So let's see what else is going on. Judgment. Ah, for some of you... A lot of the things are coming to the surface with problems within like challenges within I'm feeling are coming to the surface here it's like some of you are awakening to challenges that have been within you that you haven't really addressed four of swords so a lot of you could be meditating a lot this month I'm feeling that and with the judgment card here, there could be some healing involved as well. You do have angels helping you out here. I'm hearing Raziel and Uriel. You're seeking peace with the Four of Swords. You're trying to come away from some harsh times there. Queen of Pentacles. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn, but I also feel that you're dealing with money. You're dealing with your foundation here. You're really trying to appreciate what you have, what you're building, and you're trying to seek a sense of peace within you. Okay. With the challenge card, you have the three of wands. So, hmm, I feel like your challenge may be patience. Patience with yourself, especially. You may be thinking, yeah, see? The Magician, Gemini energy. It's like you're trying to create. You're trying to manifest. I feel like you're trying to manifest healing. You're trying to manifest uh, a foundation to build upon. It could be a business you're trying to manifest, something within the business. And you're a little impatient as to how things are going, how fast things are being created. So with love, we have the Five of Swords here. So some of you may be feeling a little bit defeated in love. Let's see. Ooh, Three of Swords. Yeah. Five of Cups. In the eight of swords okay so they're bringing me back to the healing too so i feel like you're 
thinking about a past love and you're thinking about the arguments, you're thinking about the brokenness, the broken heartedness, the sad times. And I feel like this is a tape recorder going around and round and round in your mind. And with Mercury going retrograde for most of the month of February, that makes sense. But I do feel you will move past this and you will move to a more peaceful place. Some of you could literally be moving, I'm feeling as well. A balance of the body, mind, and spirit, they're saying, is needed here. Okay? All right. So as far as money is concerned, you have the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is something you're trying to create through something that you love here. Prince of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Ooh. The Six of Wands. Okay. Be careful you're not self-sabotaging as far as money is concerned. That you're not running away from an issue as far as money is concerned. They're trying to take a shortcut, they're saying. Okay? I feel like there's something that you're excited about. That you're trying to create. It could be within a business that you own here. You're feeling like it will be victorious. However, there may be details that you're not paying attention to. So when I'm hearing contracts, so when you're reading contracts, make sure that either A, you get a lawyer to look over them, or B, make sure that you're reading them very thoroughly. Now, what you think about love is the justice card. So let's see. I feel like some of you could be going through a divorce. And this could be why you're thinking about, oh, hang on one minute, just dropped a card. Sorry about that, Aries. You have the Seven of Cups here. This is clarifying the Justice card. So I feel like a lot of you are thinking about the ideal love, what you've dreamed about, what you've always wanted. And you're trying to make sure that this ideal love is seeming practical. The Ten of Swords, yeah. See, you're a little bit hmm, defensive and I feel hesitant about going into a new love relationship right now because of betrayal in the past, because of backstabbing and confusion. I don't feel that you feel you're balanced enough to get into a love relationship right now. One more on this, on what Aries thinks about this love situation. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. You're feeling a lack of love. You're feeling left out in the cold. I feel like your mindset really needs to be shifted around into remembering, even if it was a horrible relationship, there were good moments you were with this person for a reason. Remember those moments because that's how you're going to attract love into your life. And if you're remembering all these negative moments, guess what you're going to be getting? You're going to be getting the same thing. So you want to try to pinpoint the lessons here, okay? And I feel like you are doing healing. You are doing that. But try to focus on letting go of what hurts and keeping the happy moments, the feelings of love that you adored, okay? You want to keep that. So the outcome overall is the Princess of Wands. So I feel like your attitude will shift. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like this love thing is sort of happening in the middle, middle of the month and that it will shift. Two of Swords. You're going to... Hmm, I feel like you're going to start to listen to your intuition, King of Pentacles. Uh, when it comes to what you want to get going, what, um, I'm, I'm like losing my words with Mercury in retrograde. What's the word that I want? Any projects that you want to get off the ground, okay? I feel like you're going to begin to listen to your intuition as far as that is concerned. Money is going to be 
uh, especially important to you in the month of February. Princess of Cups. Okay. So your creativity is going to be inserted in whatever it is that you're building in career. I feel like your heart will begin to open up, but you're still, I, I, I feel you're still hesitant as far as love is concerned based on your past experience. So there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. Now, your advice is the universe, which makes sense because this talks about ending a cycle and beginning another one, right? Tell me more about the universe. The tower. Yeah. They're wanting you to begin to rebuild what was already obliterated in your life, right? Any towers that have happened because this is all leading to your destiny. So try to close up this chapter and within the tower, find the blessings because there is blessings. They're leading you to your fate. They're leading you to your destiny. Embrace the change that's happening. Embrace this upheaval. It's okay to embrace it and know that it's leading you to a better place. Yes, High Priestess. So pay attention to your intuition and really trust it moving forward in love and in life in general okay queen of cups that's getting in touch with your intuition and creativity and beginning to open your heart okay what crystal will serve aries in the month of february what crystal will serve aries in the month of february what crystal will serve Aries. Dioptase, the healing hearts. Yep, that's exactly what you need to do in February, heal your hearts. And I feel like you know you do. It's like right here with the judgment, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, you know that you do. By the end of February, I feel like you're balancing out that masculine and feminine energy and you're beginning to see the upsides to the disaster that may have occurred in your life, right? The tower moment. So if you can, dioptase, get that. And if you can't afford it, just call it in during meditation, okay? Crystals hold intelligence, so they will come. All right, Aries, I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic month of February, and I will catch you on the flip side on my dailies. Namaste, Aries.